his position as Brexit secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is... <laughs> In a statement. Brexit that... <laughs> was so much fucking trouble, know, right? man. In a statement. People resigning left and right. <laughs> it's a fucking train wreck, man. <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh, it's not gonna work. Let's fuck off now before it fucks us up. On. Like, That's exactly it. Everyone's just doing a David Cameron right now. Exactly, man. <laughs> Rats out of a sinking ship. So, in a statement, Downing Street said, This afternoon, the Prime Minister accepts the resignation of Boris Johnson as Foreign Secretary. Oh, yeah, let's watch this news clip. That'll be fun. In East London, where Boris Johnson was due today to be speaking at a West Balkan summit. Um, We've been waiting here for hours. He hasn't shown. Of course, the longer (laughs) he didn't turn up, the more the speculation was that he was on his way. (laughs) (laughs) This afternoon, the Prime Minister accepted the resignation of Boris Johnson as Foreign Secretary. His replacement will be announced shortly. The Prime Minister thanks Boris for his work. Well, a pretty short and uh, uh, curt statement there from number 10. Clearly, there have been all sorts of goings on throughout the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> his, wow. His replacement will be announced shortly. Like, as in... Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen either. We didn't know this was coming. <laughs> Live in the studio. Because <laughs> if they known, no one would be waiting for Boris Johnson in East London for his, his speech at the summit. <laughs> <He> <laughs> was, <laughs> Boris woke up this morning like, do you know what, guy? Do you know what, wife? I'm equipped today. What, Boris? Yeah. Do you know what? I've, <laughs> I've been looking over the books of being Forest Secretary with this whole Brexit <laughs> thing going on, and I've realised... It's really not going to work. Like, <laughs> whatever Theresa May is trying to do, it's just, it just looks like Brexit, but we're not in the EU anymore. I just, I, 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 I don't get it. It's What's so the, what was the, what was the point? And then he just, he threw his books up in the air and he was like, do you want to do another round? Oh, Boris, you never do this. <laughs> <laughs> and while Boris was having his extra lay in, <laughs> He, he, everyone else in East London was just waiting for him to arrive. <laughs> the best line in that news clip was, the longer we were waiting for him, the more news got out that he was on his way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, that guy was so salty about that. Because he's been waiting there for hours, right? I know. He's been waiting there for so long just oh. to get a fucking clip and maybe ask Boris a question. Like, holy fuck, the game is you pissed. So both Mr. Johnson and Mr. Davis agreed to... Uh, agreed to the plan despite express... Wait, hang on. The key cabinet... The key cabinet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they both express uh, their reservations privately. Mr. Johnson had reportedly criticised the Prime Minister's plan for retaining strong economic ties with the EU even after Brexit. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Why leave the EU then? (laughs) 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 uh, (laughs) Referring to the makes no sense. Referring to the plan as a polished turd. (laughs) That's pretty much it. (laughs) It's seriously just ridiculous what's going on right now. Here's a thirty minute clip on Boris and Brexit. The clip titles you can't suck and blow at the same time. <laughs> well, as the Prime Minister has made it absolutely clear that we are going to uh, take back control of our, of our, of our customs rates, of our tariff schedules in Geneva. We'll be able to do Is there free any trade deals. Is there on leaving and, the customs union? Or uh, being in, or replicate, as Labour would say, replicating the, the current arrangements in a future customs well, treaty. You, you know, you can't suck and blow at once, as they say. You know, we, 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 we're going to... We're going to come out of the customs. Oh, my God. ...to be able to... Oh, my God. Wait, what? No way. Pull that back. He, he just said it, like, so casually in the interview. ...current arrangements in a future right. customs well, treaty. You, you know, you can't suck and blow at once, as they say. You know, we... we, 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 we as who says? What? 
<laughs> you can't just casually say that. You can't just say that. Dude, Boris Johnson <laughs> says whatever the yeah. fuck he wants to say. Yeah, I know he does. He's fucking fantastic. Brilliant. He's great entertainment. He's like the best part of British politics. How many cabinet departs have there been? Okay. Of course, I want to know. Since 2017 elections. Right. Theresa May in office. Damien Green resigned. Philip Hammond in office. Amber Rod resigned. Boris Johnson resigned. David Davis resigned. Michael Fellon resigned. Uh, Jeremy Hunt in office. David uh, Livington in office. Justine Greenington stood down. Liam Fox in office. Greg Clark in office. Parati Patel resigned. Michael Gove in office. Chris Garling in office. Sagi David in office. Uh, some other guys in office. James Brookshire in office. Karen Bradley in office. David Gark in office. Patrick McGulling stood down. Baroness. Evans in office. It seems like a lot of people have left since. Uh... Yeah, man. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I didn't realize there was that many, you know. <laughs> I mean, people have just taken their place like no one's, no one's business, really. I mean, it's, it's crazy, really. Like, they're just fucking. They're getting out before the right, shit before crashes. Before the shit right? crashes, yeah. This is what it's the fucking fun. Yeah. They're getting out, man. Yeah, That's they're exactly just like, what's well, happening. Time to go. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a shit show, really and truly. It just. It, For real. It, like, it's, it just. To me, it just doesn't really make any sense. Like, why would we have this vote for us? Because we were so sick of being in the EU. Because most of the people wanted to leave the EU. So we ended up having this vote. You guys won. We're leaving the EU. Mm. <laughs> now, you're just like, well... Uh, like, we have such a good deal with you guys. We <laughs> have such a good deal, guys. Like, they allowed us to stay in the EU and keep our currency. Like, every That's other true. country had to change. But the UK could keep pounds sterling. They were, they, they were pushing it on us, but we kept firm. We kept pounds sterling because we're the UK. And, and I understand... sterling, man. That's just yeah. the fact. It's and I mean, sterling. I know there's other things at play, but as everything... The way things are laying out, it just seems like it's just going to be like, we're not in the EU... <laughs> but everything's the same as being in the EU. We get all the best, all the benefits yeah. of being in the EU without being in the EU. And then it's just... You decide to cut off the good stuff. Yeah, that was the whole point. Like, <laughs> don't just, like, try and make a kind of deal that works for everyone. Either we're said, in or out. That being said, farming and fishing and that, that's going to do nicely after yeah. Brexit. Well, yeah. Because, um, you know, British beef will be the cheapest all of a sudden. Why would it be the cheapest? Because right now, French meat beats it in the market. Because it's, like, cheaper. We get a good deal from the EU. Oh. But since so, yeah. people would want to trade with us. That's why there's this whole fucking movement for, you know, British beef. You know, like, I mean... People are obsessed with their meat coming from England, you know? I mean, I, I don't mind as long as it tastes good to me. But, True, but, you know, some people. Some people, yeah. Like, the fucking McDonald's adverts. Now made with real meat. Yeah, dude, that shit, <laughs> shit freaks me out because, like, since since of like 2011, chicken nuggets in it. Since like 2011, their entire ad campaigns have been like, really trust us, it's real meat. I know, like, like <laughs> if that's if that has to be like the cornerstone of your ad campaign, I know, I was... you're, you do not have a good public, and you're only making it worse. It's just like oh, behind these adverts that are like seriously, seriously, it's real meat. For real, like we're not kidding about it. It's actual, it's actual meat. 
You know. Oh, it's like, well, it's just like, well, why are you telling us that? It's probably more like, because you know, of if, a... if it really was, you just let it speak for itself. Yeah. You know, you make a big deal of it. But this is too curious, I guess, yeah. Is what is it? It's like thou dost protest too much or some shit from Shakespeare. What well, sorry? Uh, thou dost protest too much. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Apparently, it should be cooling down soon. Should be what? Cooling down soon. Oh, I look forward to that. To be honest, I've had enough of the sun. I mean. This weekend was the hottest day of the year. In, really? In, as of the British heat wave <sighs> entered 16 days of heat consecutively. <laughs> it's crazy. It's been such nice weather. But all good things must come to an end. Hope so. We need some rain, man. Grass yeah, is dude, dying. The grass is dead. <laughs> grass is fucking dead, man. Yeah, that's all my cross is dying. Like, we need some rain. Uh, Parts people have need to cool color. down. Yeah, I mean, oh, this is crazy. The UK. Oh, what else did I have in my actual notes? Um, Uber won the p- appeal mm-hmm. over TFL to yeah. continue Everyone's like licensing. In the UK, I'm happy for that. Or I London. use Uber. Or not the UK, London, because yeah. every uh, because like different. drivers were raping people and shit. Well, yeah, that was part of it. No, like hiring, <laughs> like hiring convicts and shit, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They weren't doing background checks, but I guess uh, Uber has won the appeal to overturn the ban in London after TfL revoked their license last year. Uh, Westminster Magistrate Court found that the company is now fit and proper. This is what I thought they would do. They they appealed and they were just it like, very easy well, to, now to we've got time out. to you know, get into code. Start doing background checks yeah. and shit. Easy as. So they, Maybe even have like an emergency button yeah. like on the app. So they even... Oh, that's a cool that's thing, fun. man. Yeah, Uber, if you're listening, take it and pay me. And Sam. Anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you getting my money? Because you're on my podcast. They wouldn't have heard your idea had you heard right, find, us the, <laughs> find us for 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, calm. <laughs> I'm good with that. Anyway, if I see an emergency button on an Uber app, I am going to sue your ass, Uber. Understand that. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, awesome. bro. That, that'll, work. that'll work just fine. <laughs> so basically, they got they got fit and proper to hold the license and guaranteed the firm appeal after they agreed to an audit. Uh, Uber requested an 18-month license and was granted a probation of 15-month license as opposed to a five-year license as it previously, as it previously sought. It has also agreed to pay TFL's cost of £425,500. 0.5, I guess. So, yeah. That's a lot of money anyway. That's what? Why are they... (laughs) Why are they paying TFL? (laughs) TFO always needs money, man. <laughs> they were like, yo, you can carry on running, yeah. Alright, cool. The, the court done that for you, but still, we want that. Some of that, some of that money that you're making, you want a half a mil, and then, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Until next year. Until next time when you need to renew your license, and then, yeah. we'll sort out another deal. <laughs> Holding it hostage. <laughs> Pretty much. So, yeah, it's it's great, man. It's great for everyone. Mm. Uber continues. The price is going to go up, though. If they have to do the fees and shit. But there's the uh, new app, Via Van. What's that? 
Oh, haven't you heard of Viavan? No, I have not. So Viavan is basically this app.